This is a follow-up to the PyPico programming intro where we were using a Linux workstation and the C programming language to demonstrate a blinking LED on the PyPico. One of the features that the PyPico microcontroller includes is a dual core processor. In the intro, we were programming on a single core uh, blinking an LED. In this uh, video, I want to demonstrate the multi-core operation of the Pi Pico by running two threads, both of them blinking LEDs. Uh, so it'll be similar to the original demo, uh, but in this case, there'll be two cores, two threads, two LEDs. So to start off, we want to add an LED into our circuit. So the Pi Pico has a, a built-in LED on uh, GPIO 25 and we're going to add an LED to GPIO 15 as shown in this circuit. Uh, we'll have the LED connected to GPIO and then the other end of the LED connected to ground through a 300 ohm or so resistor just to uh, limit the current. So let's go ahead and put that it together here real quick. So we want GPIO 15 and we'll add our LED and a current real limiting resistor to ground. Okay so there's our circuit and we're we're currently running the the old demo program. You can see uh, the LED blinking that's on GPIO 25. Let's test our circuit by modifying the the code so that we are using GPIO 15 instead of 25. So we can go into our old intro build and we'll just say make everything should still be there and now let's put the do a reset and then boot select should have the device mounted now and we can copy the uf2 file to the mounted pi pico and it should Take off and there we go. Okay, so we changed our demo program to use GPIO 15, and now the LED that we have connected to GPIO 15 is blinking. Uh, so let's start a new project. So for this project, we're going to put it in our same um, embedded project directory. Just give it a name by Pico. And we're using the Linux workstation C. And we'll just call this multi-core. And we can go into our multi-core project directory. And we'll start by creating the CMake file that will help us uh, put together our build. So touch make this.txt. We'll go ahead and edit that file. Okay, so we're going to start off by setting our minimum required version for CMake. And then we're going to do something a little bit different here. Um, we're going to set a variable inside CMake. Uh, based off of uh, the environment variable that we use, normally use for the path that leads to the Pico SDK. So this is just taking taking the environment variable and setting it into a variable with the same name that will be inside of our CMake operation. And next thing we're going to do a little bit different is for include to load the uh, Pico SDK import. Instead of copying the file into our project, uh, we're going to use our new Pico SDK variable 
and we're just going to load it directly from the um, SDK path. Oops. Make. That way we don't need to copy the file into our project. We'll just use the file that exists in the SDK itself. So now we'll start off our project. We're just going to make it the same as the intro. It's just a blink project in the blink. Um, let's set the uh, version of C that we're going to use. Uh, we're going to set it to 11. Let's set the C++ standard as well. We're going to use 2017. And now we'll go ahead and initialize the SDK. And executable, which will be blink, and we're just going to use the same source file, blink C. And then we define our libraries that we need to link with for our Blink project. And we're going to again use the Pico standard library. But in this case, we're going to add an additional library. We're going to add the Pico multi-core library as well. So we'll have CMake. When it puts together our make file, it'll pull in the libraries and the everything so that we can have multi-core functions. Um, and then finally, Pico Addict. So we need our output. Out. Let's blink. Okay, so that should do it for our make file. And the next thing we need is our source file. We does C. And we will edit that. So we will start off by including our Pico standard library and then also the Pico multi-core functions. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and define some constants as we did in the uh, original demo. So we're going to define the same thing. LED pin 25 will be for the LED that is built into the PyPico board. And we want a second LED on GPIO 15. And now this is a little bit different. We're going to put a function. Uh, so this is a function to continuous, continue, continuously link LED to link, link to, and we'll just make a unending loop. So this function, once it starts, will run forever. And we want it to do a GPIO put to the LED2 port. We'll start by turning it off. And then we want to sleep. And, and we're going to make the uh, second LED blink faster. So we'll do 200 milliseconds sleeping. And then we do the, oops. GPI will put again, LED2, and in this case we will turn So we're going to turn it off, wait 200 milliseconds, turn it on, and wait another 200 milliseconds, and then it will loop back and just do it over and over again forever. Okay, next we want our main function, which this, so the main function when the device starts up, uh, is going to run on core zero, right? Uh, so main function. We want to start off by uh, initializing the LED pin, um, and we want to set the direction on that pin to be a GPIO output. And then we also want to uh, initialize the second LED output. Same thing, set the direction to the GPIO output. Okay, so at this point we've 
we're in initializing the GPIO 25 and GPIO 15 and we're setting both of them. The 25 is an output and 15 also is an output. So next thing we will do is we're going to actually uh, launch a thread on the on core one, the second core on the uh, microcontroller. So we can say multi-core launch core one and we're going to pass it our function that we created up here. So blink2, when this function is executed, is going to run uh, an endless loop that toggles the uh, GPIO 15 LED off and on. And we're going to tell the microcontroller to run that function on core one. And this main, when this is running, this is main function is running on core zero. So once this starts, we'll actually have two threads running simultaneously. So the next thing we do is in the main thread, so at this point, core one is running our second thread for the second LED, but we want to also basically doing the same thing we did in the uh, intro demo is uh, blinking uh, GPIO 25. So we'll turn it on, uh, sleep, and we're gonna wait two seconds, leave it on for two seconds. Uh, GPIO put, and then we will next turn it off, wait two seconds, and that, that's it. So, so our main loop that's running on core zero is going to initialize everything, launch the second thread on core one, and then it will run this continuous loop blinking. So we'll have two threads, one on core zero, looping and one on core one looping. So we can save that. Let's go back to our terminal. Um, since this is started fresh, we need to re-export the path variable. So export pico sdk path equal to our home directory. And we have it in embedded and then pico sdk so that's a path to our uh, SDK. And, okay, let's make a build directory. Go into our build directory. And you see make to prepare everything. And now if you go say make. So this is going to compile everything so that we will have multi-core support. And then it will build our our blink executable. There we go. There you go. So we will do a reset boot select on the Pi Pico. It's now mounted. So we can see under run media username. And there we go. The Pi Pico is mounted. So all we need to do is copy our UF2 file to the Pi Pico. And there it is. So we now have two threads running, one on core zero, which is blinking uh, the LED on GPIO 25. And we have a second thread that is running and blinking faster, uh, the LED that's on connected to uh, GPIO 15. And it's that simple.